Hello, beautiful guy. people of the internet. My name is Ryan, and welcome back to our Far Harbor Fallout 4 DLC. And maybe to our final episode of the DLC. We'll see. I uh, I need to go home and go home. Go to Commonwealth and talk to uh, Kasumi's dad. And we'll see. I think it might be the end, but who knows. We still have some stuff um, that we could do on this island. Like, we haven't been to, to some of these places, like Cranberry Island Bog. Um, but I think we're probably done with the main quest lines, so. I think this might mean it's time to, uh, pop into Nuka World after this. And that, that'd be fun. I, I, Far Harbor has been, again, I don't know that this is the end, so I don't want to, I don't want to do too much, uh, like, oh, what a good time it's been. But also, what a good time it's been. It's a, a hell of an interesting quest line. Uh, the big bugs and animals and, and stuff has been a blast and scary um things like the harpoon that's been pretty cool longfellow's a neat a neat guy um yeah i'm trying to think if there's anything on my mind about far harbor that i really wanted to have happen that hasn't happened you know and i don't think so i don't think so Um, I mean, the one thing I thought about was Nick Valentine, but I also really liked, uh, using Longfellow and by, and by Nick Valentine, I mean, uh, introducing him to Dima because they're brothers. <laughs> so maybe, uh, maybe that someday, but all right, let's tell their parents that, uh, their daughter's never coming back. Yikes. My daughter is human. She's not a synth. All right, then. You're back, but Kasumi isn't with you? Yep, that's correct. Mr. Nakano, Kasumi isn't coming home. She's staying with the synths. I hate north. to be the one to deliver this news. I hired you to find her, to bring her back safely. You left her there? Uh, I mean, yeah. I did everything I could to make sure she was safe, Kenji. She'll be fine. You're sure? It's just all this nonsense about her being a <laughs> She doesn't still think she's one of them, does she? Does it matter, Kenji? She's staying. She has people there she cares about. So, Ray was right. Kasumi needed to make her own That's life the line I'm going to tell you, at least. I guess I just didn't want to believe she had grown up that she was going to leave me there's one last thing he's having a moment discuss. right here your reward my daughter I don't care about the pay coming home but at least she is safe we don't have much to offer but my father traveled the commonwealth he had quite the Kenji's having a moment he like he's learning I the thing parents learn the again and again which I'm is not that the explorer he was I don't need them I think they would be better you do everything you can for your parents and then also they still become their own per people and leave. What's in this collection? Things he picked up out at sea or trading at different towns he visited. I never really sat down and looked through it all. I don't know if I want his collection. Thank I'll you, take Kenji. It. You've earned it. You traveled far and back to get me answers. Far and now, back. if you'll excuse me, <laughs> it's been a long day. Of course. Of course it has. It's getting ready to say, where's this, uh, talk to Ellie? Who's Ellie? Is Ellie the wife? Oh, Ellie from Nick's val- The Valentine- Okay, obviously. Okay. Whew. Nick's gone, by the way. Nick's Nick's gone forever. He's uh, I'll I'll trade him out um if I ever if we're done with Far Harbor, I'll go get him and I'll trade him back out so that he gets to come back to the Commonwealth. I don't want to leave him there forever. Hello? Stuck on something. Uh, 
Let's see what we got. <clears throat> Looks pretty cool. Missiles. Oh, Jesus. All kinds of shit. What's the weapon he just gave us? The, it was the, like, recon one? Let's put this on. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, my. Oh, my. Holy. Uh, I think we're going to put that one on. Like, put it on, especially with the uh, amount of inventory space we got. Let's put that on three and use it. That seems crazy. Wow. Okay, well. I think we need to go talk to Ellie. So before we do that, this is going to be, uh, this might be a little frustrating. Um, I'm going to actually go to Far Harbor. Um... Well, we're, so what we're going to do, I'm going to grab Nick. We're going to go confront Dima with Nick involved. Um, Longfellow and I are done, unfortunately. Then we'll go back and, and we'll be done done um, with Far Harbor. So I'm excited. This means that it's time for Nuka World. I, uh, I guess, so what? This will be almost 40 episodes for Far Harbor. 20 hours or so. Um, it's a good long time. This is a... A good long run. Uh, so Nick is here. Let's go there. We're going to spend the rest of the episode just kind of wrapping things up, celebrating our Far Harbor uh, victory, our, our Far Harbor time. Um, you know, find Nick. Do, do the basics. You know the deal. Do the basics. All right, Nicky boy, where you at? Hey, Valentine. Time to hit the road? It is. Let's head out. Well, all right. Longfellow, it's been real. I'm sending you to your actual home. See you, buddy. You know, there is this <laughs> chunk of Nick Valentine out? history I've been hoping to put a bow on for a while now. Not yet. Just I stay could put use for a now. hand if you're willing to take a crack at it. What kind of history are we talking here? Well, this one. Maybe we aren't done. Archives. Once upon a time in the land of Boston. Maybe we aren't done. Organized crime. Eddie Winter. He was a bad man who did a lot of bad things, hurt a lot of innocent people, but he knew the end was coming, so he sealed himself inside a personal shelter, located underneath a sub shop he used as a headquarters. There's more to this, isn't there? The story gets even more twisted. The arrogant bastard wanted to cheat death, live forever, so he could come out of that shelter someday into this brave new world. Sound familiar? Only Eddie didn't want to be a frozen banana. <laughs> no cryo sleep for him, no. He invested his money in some sick, crazy radiation. Oh, Nick, I love you, man. You don't mean to tell me he used that radiation to... That's right. Eddie Winter went and turned himself into a ghoul. 200 years before it was fashionable. Hell, he was probably the first one. And I'm convinced that he's still locked inside that shelter. Safe and sound. Ready to so come is this out part and of... his evil reign all over again. I'm going to find him and kill him. So that is this part of happens. Far Harbor? You in? I don't get it, Nick. Why kill Eddie Winter, even if he is still alive? This sounds like some kind of vendetta. It's, uh, it's nothing. Just some old business of Nick's that needs taken care of. Justice has to be served. <laughs> now, are you in or not? I'm in. All right, Nick. Let's get the bad guy. You're a good man. Now, I know where Winter's vault is, but the door is sealed with a complex numerical code 
Hit me up with a new quest. I'm into it. Winter's arrogance knew no <clears throat> bounds. Back in the day, he recorded ten holotapes tapes, incriminating different criminal associates. Wait, what? On each one, he hit a single number. We find all of those holotapes, tapes. We get all the numbers. We get all the numbers. We get the code, and then we get Winter. I've been putting together a file on this one for a while. Uh... There's a pair of holo tapes in here worth listening to. Uh, including one of Winters I managed to snatch from the Cambridge Police Evidence Lockup before getting swarmed by ferals. My gut tells me the Boston Police Evidence Channels uh, are the key to cracking what? this one. It's probably worth paying a visit to any of the departments you might have stumbled across. You're telling me. Okay, so I actually just got a phone call that I had to answer in order to interrupt the recording. Uh, perks of planning a wedding. We're in the last month before uh, our wedding happens, and so sometimes you get phone calls that you have to take. But I'm back. Um, and I may or may not have, while I also took that break, done a very quick Google and noticed uh, just to see one thing, which is that is this quest part of Far Harbor or not? It is not part of Far Harbor. So... Hey. I have great news. Nick, We're still on we track. On the, Hunt for tapes? the Hunt for Eddie's tapes is a uh, is a thing. I'm still searching for them. Uh, just let me know when you manage to get your Apparently, and I don't know a ton about this. Apparently, it's like Nick's personal companion quest kind of thing. So we're gonna potentially do it, but we're not gonna do it right now. Um, what that means is that we are still on track to. Let's head over to uh to. Arcadia to talk to Dima with Nick and Toe and see if that does anything because I, I if it's your long lost brother I would bet that it was you know I bet that it would uh, it would make me react if my long lost brother showed up um, and and you didn't really know that you had a brother or or something along those lines Okay. It's really weird. We started with Nick on Far Harbor, but we hadn't gone very far at all before. Dima, are you still stuck in the wall, Wait, my guy? Your friend there. Yep, there we go. I'd like to speak. All right. To yeah, I got a few words I want to say myself. Starting with, who the hell are you? There's only one synth with that kind of face and a mind of his own, and I only see it when I look in a mirror. Nick? It... It can't oh be you. Don't give me that. What are you trying to pull? I've never seen you before in my oh, life. Oh, my. Please, if you're willing to give me a chance, I can explain. Dima, get out from behind the freaking thing. All right, Dima. We'll humor you. Talking. This all started over a century ago, when we were first created. We were prototypes, Nick. The first synths capable of independent thinking and judgment. Keep talking. One of the Institute's experiments has to do get out? with how our brains could process personality. If we could handle individualized nope. feelings and behaviors, I you was good, allowed Dima. to develop mine based on experience, but with you, they wanted to try transferring an entire personality into you. It took several attempts before the personality imprint worked. I saw you wake up not knowing who or what you were so many times. I couldn't let them do it to you anymore. We were the only two prototypes they made. I literally saw myself in you. Did he? You were my brother. He helped him Nick. escape. Okay, cool. I helped you escape the Institute. We left together. It's pretty cool. If I were your brother, I'd remember. <laughs> that's You're a synth, dude. You know that's not how that works. This happened over a century ago. There's 
There's only so much memory that can fit into the prototype brains we have. Ah, I've heard enough. I think you and I need to talk about this. Maybe not now, though. Why not now? I mean, really, you know? Who am I talking to? Dialogue. Nick. Is he really your brother? If he is, it's news to me. Can sense even be related? Just because we're from the same assembly line, does that make us family? <laughs> I gotta think about this. Okay. Well. Is it really possible that you wouldn't remember any of this? You mean between the Institute fail-safes, the beatings I've taken over the years, and plain <laughs> old age? Or are you buying this whole, there's only so much room of their argument? I mean, he's done it before. He's removed know. memories so that he Not forgets them and also the so that he has manual. space. We'll talk later. This is a lot to take in. Nick. I don't need you to believe me. I don't know how much later we're gonna talk. This is basically the end. Come on, talk now. Whenever you're ready, I'll be here. Hey. What's the plan? Hey, Valentine. What? Oh, sorry. Just got my head full of what Dima was talking about. Yep, a I would too. Bit of a shock. I understand. What do you think he is, really? Family? It's hard to deny it, Nick. The similarities are pretty obvious. I think they I are. I think they're brothers, right? I've been wondering if the Institute had made any other prototypes. I mean, what does it mean to be a, a brother? Failure, as a synth, but or they still. gave up. Or just plain got bored. I always thought I was just more of their discarded trash. That's what I thought too, Never to be clear. Thought of the possibility <laughs> that someone wanted me out. Helped me escape. There's got to be some kind of proof out there. What really happened between me okay, and Okay, do we have a quest? I'd appreciate it if we could keep an eye out. Wait. Actually, I think I already found Oh yeah, duh, duh. I'm memories. dumb. Take a listen. Whoops. All right. Let me run this real quick. Oops. God. Dima really did help me escape the institute. I forgot about that. <laughs> I wasn't just tossed out with the garbage. <sighs> I must have still been in a haze from one of the institute's <clears throat> experiments on me. Did I really attack him? Did he really knock the dead? You forgot it, Nick, and, and also so dead? did I. Damn it's it. been a long Why can't I remember? Playthrough. Take it easy, Valentine. <laughs> People forget things. Especially after something traumatic, like what happened between you and Dima. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Well, I wanted proof Dima and I had history, and I got... What are you going to do? No, I just got to figure I'm here to help you figure that do. out. Should I give him a chance? Try to accept him as my brother? He might just be the only other prototype synth that exists. Here's my deal. First off, let's ask him. I guess the question is... What do you want, Nick? Do you want a brother in your life? If I did, would I want Dima to be that brother? I guess no one gets to choose their family, but... True. When your family is built in a lab, you know, things get uh, weird. Here's the thing. I, it's your call. Let's try this. I think you but also... Know the answer, Nick. You don't need me to tell you. Huh. If it's me... Maybe next time we swing by Acadia, I'll try to be a little you're nicer literally here right the now. old synth. If it's me, you're a better That's influence on Dima time. than Thanks, anyone else. By the way. I and so, the truth I think it's important that you be his brother. Valentine loved that. Hey, Dima. I'm afraid I can't help you anymore. If I could be left alone... Oh. Uh, okay, so... Heads up. You alright? You need something? Your thoughts? Lead the way. 
I tried to click on relationship. What the fuck was Is that? Is everything all right between us? Well, I like how you've been handling things lately. <clears throat> that's what you mean. Your thoughts? I didn't know what to think when we first signed up together. Color me impressed. That's all. Got it. Dima. No more questions. I have to focus on our future. So here's the deal. I think let's uh, let's take a long time coming off. Let's see if we can catch the shipbreakers frequency real quick. I think we're wrapping up here. I think there's a couple things we can do to, to make sure that happens. Um, I think we visit Longfellow's cabin. Just make sure things are set up all right there. Um, maybe even get him like a recruitment beacon or something. Um, now that we got a, uh, a supply line running between between there and, and somewhere else. And uh, and then maybe, you know, there's a couple other things we could do real quick on the uh, on the way. But I think we go talk to Ellie with Nick and Toe. And I think that's... Again, I'm just reading the signs here, but I think that's probably about it for Far Harbor. So maybe now I'll start... I'm pretty confident. So maybe now I'll start... Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to talk like we're done here before we're actually done. But I think we're we're getting there. Um. Now I'll start maybe maybe thinking real quick about this thing overall. So we when we started, Children of Adam, kind of versus Acadia, kind of versus um, Far Harbor. Like that that was kind of how it went. And uh, and now we've got. No more Children of Adam, which again was a tough thing, but felt like maybe the thing I needed to do. Um, it felt like the only way out. I don't know that it was the only way out. That's the playthrough I, I chose, and, I, and I'm sticking to it. Big surprise if you saw how I played the, the main game, but like the the. Uh, the people who like like the the factions who are all about working together to get things done and to and to increase safety and to take care of people like that's who i'm into and obviously um what that means for us is that i like far harbor immediately i think they're the people to, to, to get behind um and i feel pretty good about that i also frankly felt pretty good about acadia um some major sketch things going on there and I don't like how they kind of kept a lot of the power um to themselves like like Dima's whole like keeping keeping control in his own hands kind of deal that's pretty sketched where's our not there it's around this side with like nuclear kill switches and and etc that's uh that's pretty bad and I and I wasn't a fan of that but we made it work. He didn't know that when we got here. And then and and that he was doing that at all. And we helped him discover that and then we and then we came up with some some makeshift solutions. Um, I'm going to have to throw them in here. We confronted some people. Captain Avery being a synth, honestly, I don't know how much it does. I think we're probably I think we're probably okay the way we are. She still cares a ton about um about the people. This is so sketch. Come on. There you go. So overall, I, f I feel good about all that. Um, I think we made life a little bit easier for everybody who is in Far Harbor. I think that uh, Longfellow, it's been nice, man. It's been real nice knowing you. We out? We're not, actually. Not yet. Um, Just stay put for now. Right. But it's it's been good to get to know you. Um All right, let's go to the Commonwealth. I think that I you know, I think we, we we didn't cover everything, but it's just like in normal Fallout 4 we didn't cover everything, you know? We cleared a lot of stuff though. Um Yeah, we we explored pretty all over the place. And uh very interesting story it was. So Let's uh, say goodbye to Far Harbor for now. We may come back. We may have to stop and visit our settlements at different times, but it's been real fun.
So, let's go see what Ellie has to say now. Ellie would be here. Diamond City. Let's go in. Yeah, overall, I feel it was an incredibly interesting story. I'm very, I'm very, uh, very into it. It's funny to think na back now on the, on when we first arrived via ship in Far Harbor, and you're like, what is this place? These people are weird. And then by the end, we're, you know, we're the hero of the, kind of the hero of the town, or one of the heroes of the town. We're the mainlander. We've got a, uh... Wait a little long. You gotta listen. Mayor McDonough. I saw him with one of those institute synths. Alright, damn it. It's a, it's a cutscene. I should stay here for this. He's one of them. McDonough is a synth. Oh, God. What are we doing? I was going to run past this, but I can't ignore it. Standing around. Someone get a doctor. Who needs a haircut? Alright, so we got an extra. Yeah? Yeah. Hey. Two slugs in the gut. The fall from Do I have some mysterious there. serum I can hit him with? I ain't gonna make it. Quick, take this stim pack. See? It's gonna be right as rain. Thank you. I feel better. All right, if we saved him. Mind, I'm, uh, I'm just gonna stay here for a bit. Yeah? It's tough to, uh... It's tough to draw straight lines between the different, um... Yes? Swatters! Right here! between the like normal playthrough and the DLC because you just like walk past something and you're like like that and you're like oh yeah that's a normal that's a, a regular game uh part of the game um quest so I like that about I like that about this game that it's all kind of blurred lines you're back it all's big picture of the bigger puzzle the case? well I tracked Kenji's daughter to a synth refuge up north near Far Harbor. <laughs> and then some crazy she shit happened. There. She ended up deciding to stay. I can relate. I left home pretty young, and look at the low lives I've ended up with. Thanks for coming in for this Nick one. can hear you, by the way. I knew something good was happening when you and Nick started working together. Don't be a stranger, Gumshoe. If I didn't know better, I'd say you're giving our friend here all the credit. Just keeping you on your toes, Nick. All right, and that, I believe, is all she wrote. How are we doing on the hunt for Eddie's tapes? All she wrote. Uh, still searching. Still searching right. for them. Uh, just let me know when you manage to get your hands on them. So, that is gonna do it for our Far Harbor DLC playthrough. I was thinking about potentially adding on some bonus episodes for Far Harbor before we move on to Nuka World. But here's the thing. I think, I mean, we spent 40 episodes on it. I think we did our, our due diligence. I think we really did our due diligence. Um, we did a lot of side quests there before we, we, before we chased down the main storyline. So because of that, instead what I'm going to do is tomorrow, same time, same place, will be episode one of Nuka World. Um, so by the day you see this one, the, ne the next episode is going to be Nuka World DLC. I have to go figure out that and and get it started. I'm super excited for that. Uh, but that what that means from you guys is I would really appreciate stopping by tomorrow's video and hitting us with a like because that'll be the first episode in that new series and playlist and all that jazz. You know the deal. Um, if you wanted to happen to like this video on the way out too, that wouldn't hurt me. <laughs> Otherwise, I really hope you've enjoyed this Far Harbor DLC playthrough. 10 out of 10 in my book. Incredible. Fallout 4, incredible game. Far Harbor, incredible DLC. Um, I don't have a lot of experience with DLCs. And this is now a very positive one. So, I'm I'm sold. Uh, I didn't think I was going to do Nuka World. And then we got mm, 10 episodes into Far Harbor. And I was like, oh yeah, DLCs are cool. And, and Fallout's doing it right. So, we're going to see about Nuka World. Um, and we'll see you over there for, for, for that tomorrow. So... Until next time, thanks so much for watching. If you, uh, I already said that part. We'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place, for Nuka World, episode one. Let's do it. Bye-bye.